Here's a really good drill for those of you that have a reverse pivot in your golf swing. Now, a reverse pivot is a weight shift issue. That means that if you start like this and you turn back and all of your weight goes forward, you've got a reverse pivot. So here's the problem with that. If you fall forward and the ball's back there, guess what? You gotta go back and get it. Now you got a scooping problem, you got a hanging back problem, you got a multitude of issues to deal with. So first things first, you cannot reverse pivot. So there's a couple of ways around this. Number one, when you set up, try a drill that's called a trail leg drill. Load this leg a little more prematurely, maybe go 60-40, and as you turn back, maintain the flex in the leg. So if you load up and you keep your weight over there, it's gonna be really hard to lock that leg and fall forward. So that's the first drill. So shift and make sure that as you load, this stays here. Now here's the next drill. When you reverse pivot, normally your left shoulder dips down to the ground. So you gotta turn more level. So I want you to get set up, grab your rib cage or the back of your arm and pull your shoulders as level as you can to the ground. So you're almost feeling like you're pulling up. Now you may also be somebody, and this is one more thing to look at, that has their chin down in their chest. So when you look straight ahead, and this is your spacing, when you set up, make sure you're not down like this. A lot of times people that have glasses or vision problems reverse pivot because they're forced to look straight down on the golf ball and it blocks their shoulder turn because their shoulder hits their chin. So in a perfect world, your chin should be up and you should have room to turn under it, stay level, and you won't reverse pivot anymore. So again, focus on these ideas flexed here, more level turn, chin up, and your reverse pivot should be a thing of the past.